Hi friends, good evening and welcome to uh, this channel of Global Elevator Academy. Today uh, we are here to talk about basic serial dimensions. It is a very interesting topic and uh, there are about uh, 10 uh, things which you must know about basic serial dimensions. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is the basic foundation of elevator knowledge and we have seen a lot of people making you know conf getting confused uh, making mistake in you know understanding these uh, basic uh, serial uh, nomenclatures and dimensions so uh, we thought of making a video on this we will try to clear this today hopefully uh, you will like this and uh, so uh, let's start and uh, as always uh, we request you uh, please uh, you know uh, like uh, this video and uh, subscribe our channel and uh, please share this video with your friends in elevator industry so uh, without uh, delaying let's start so uh, we'll learn about uh, you know 10 points uh, in this uh, module uh, this is a very interesting uh, subject so please uh, be with us uh, till the end so one of the first point uh, we will learn is what is lift wheel uh, lift shaft and lift hoist way uh, most of the people knows about this so uh, let's uh, just a reason for them uh, you also may be knowing what is lift pit but again uh, let's review that uh, this is one of the point uh, lift overhead where uh, you know a lot of people still make mistakes and uh, we'll clear that today and hopefully after this uh, you know um, nobody will get confused uh, we have seen a lot of uh, people in industry uh, getting confused about this overhead. Uh, next, we'll learn what are lift floor heights. Again, uh, this is very uh, interesting and uh, lift travel uh, height and rise. Uh, again, uh, this is uh, very important and uh, very confusing as we have seen a lot of people making mistake in this. Next we will learn a lift machine room. What is lift machine room? Um, next we will learn lift well width and depth. Again um, uh, there are a lot of confusion on this point. A uh, lot of people in industry uh, doesn't know what is width, what is depth. Especially uh, new entrants make a lot of mistake in this. So uh, today we will, uh, you know, um, clarify and you know make you understand uh, what is width, what is depth. Similarly, uh, there is a lot of confusion on machine room width and depth. Uh, we'll uh, try to uh, you know understand that today. Then uh, point number nine, we have lift shaft and height. So what is lift shaft height? Uh, we'll uh, you know um, clear that. And the last point we'll discuss in today's video is uh, lift machine room height. So uh, hopefully you will like it. So uh, without uh, wasting any time, let's go ahead. Let's take up them uh, one by one. So what is uh, lift well, lift shaft, and lift hoist way? So basically, uh, lift well, lift shaft, lift hoistway are one and the same thing. Uh, in one company they say lift well, the other company say lift shaft, lift hoistway, uh, depending on their liking. But all of them mean same thing. Uh, what is uh, lift well? It is a dedicated space in which a lift is installed. Uh, normally, uh, you must have seen uh, it. Maybe a brick wall uh, around the lift well, 
in this photo you can see that uh, there is a brick wall but it is not plastered this uh, lift well can be in rcc structure and can be located uh, somewhere in the building and uh, nowadays uh, you know uh, you must have seen uh, that lift well can be made in a steel structure with glass covering as you can see the photo here uh, this is another way of doing this so uh, hopefully now uh, this point is clear so uh, now i uh, will see what is lift pit so lift pit is uh, you know a lowest portion uh, in a shaft lift shaft where you know they we installed um, spring buffers and all that safety uh, items uh, this is very important for safety uh, this is uh, you know uh, right at the bottom uh, of the lift shaft so um, you can see here uh, spring and all uh, the things are restored you can see a pit ladder also there in the pit this is the area which is you know underneath the lift car below the lowest landing now we'll talk about uh, one of the most confused uh, point which is uh, overhead so let's see what is overhead so basically overhead is a distance vertical distance uh, between uh, you know top floor uh, landing to underside of machine room slab this is vertical distance when we say top floor uh, so we should take the finished floor level from there and uh, this overhead uh, is a clear uh, distance uh, from the top floor and uh, this uh, overhead is uh, a very important factor for installing a lift so uh, whenever you go to site it must be measured uh, very accurately and hopefully uh, now uh, you must be clear about that let's see what is lift uh, floor uh, height uh, another point we uh, you know we want to talk about overhead is that whenever uh, you know uh, in, a lot of people in industry get confused and they try to measure the uh, overhead uh, from the top of lift cabin which is not correct so uh, please uh, you know always remember that uh, whenever we say overhead it is from top floor finish floor level to underside of machine room slab in case of mrl where we don't have a machine room it is the uh, rooftop of the shaft uh, just below that slab and uh, you know from there to the top floor finish floor level whenever we you know measure these uh, dimensions whatever we have whether it is a pit whether it is you know uh, overhead uh, these are uh, you know uh, measured from finish floor uh, levels finish to finish so let's see what is uh, you know lift floor heights uh, so as you can see here uh, you know this we have shown a three floor building here and uh, the floor heights are floor to floor uh, ground to first and first to second uh, again uh, this is uh, you know measured from the uh, finished level uh, this is very important uh, parameter uh, dimension uh, in a lift so whenever you go to site please uh, make sure to measure this very accurately as far as possible uh, next uh, point number five we'll discuss about lift travel uh, or rise so as uh, you have seen that uh, you know rise is something uh, a vertical distance from the lowest floor finish level uh, to the top floor finish level um, we have we call this terminal landings on the uh, both side on the downside and the upside so uh, this is called rise in some company they say uh, travel height or rise whatever it may be both are uh, same 
So suppose uh, in here we have just shown two landings here, but basically whatever landings are there, maybe two, three, four, five, we just, uh, you know, add them, all the fluorides, and uh, it will become, uh, you know, uh, travel height or rise. So uh, practically add all the fluorides and it will become travel or rise. What is lift machine room? Uh, lift machine room is, uh, you know, a space, a dedicated space where, uh, you know, you um, fix a lift machine, lift controller and other, uh, you know, uh, controlling accessories uh, there on top. Uh, this machine room sometimes may be known as elevator motor room or lift motor room or, uh, you know, uh, so uh, this um, motor uh, room uh, on top is uh, you know a very uh, common thing uh, sometimes depending on the design this motor room can be at the bottom or maybe at uh, you know middle uh, side but uh, that is done on a uh, rare cases so uh, machine room height is uh, you know a height which is um, from the floor uh, of the machine room to the roof of the machine room. Again, uh, this is measured from the finish floor level. Uh, this should also be measured very accurately whenever you go to site. This is a very important parameter during installation of lift. So next point is uh, point number seven. Uh, we will talk about lift well uh, width and depth. So, um, I think you should be very, uh, you know, uh, careful in listening this. A uh, lot of people make mistake in this. So width is something which is, you know, uh, measured uh, on the door side. Uh, this is called, uh, you know, left to right whenever you have an entrance. So uh, width is uh, always, you know, uh, on the front. As you can see in the uh, photo here, uh, this is a clear uh, uh, distance. Uh, after finishing so it means that when suppose you have a brick wall uh, this distance is uh, measured uh, from after plastering so initially when you go to site plaster is not there so you must consider that there would be a plaster and this width uh, shall be reduced so uh, let's see what is depth now depth is uh, you know the opposite direction the length is called depth here and uh, this is again uh, you know finish to finish wall so uh, whenever you go to site you should measure these dimensions uh, width and depth this is basically measurement of lift well area so this will give a pretty good idea that whether uh, you know um, what size lift uh, shall be stalled once you measure these dimensions both the dimensions so um, one must be very, very, you know, careful when they measure these dimensions at site. Uh, try to measure at two, three places in the shaft, one at the ground floor and maybe uh, lowest floor. And then you make one at the top and, uh, you know, maybe one at the middle. So you have a little bit idea that how the shaft is behaving from uh, bottom to top. So uh, let's see, uh, you know, uh, the next point now. So uh, what is uh, machine room width and depth? Again, uh, this is same as, you know, you have seen in the shaft, width and depth. Machine room, uh, you know, width and depth is, uh, you know, always uh, almost uh, measured in a similar way as the lift uh, well dimensions. Uh, you know, one of the important thing uh, we should understand uh, when we, uh, you know, talk about uh, width and depth, whether it is, you know, uh, lift, lift well. Whenever we say uh, lift well sizes, we should always say width first and depth later. So whenever, suppose you have 1500 mm to into 1500 mm, so um, you should understand that the first dimension is width and second dimension is depth. If it is, you know, uh, very, very important because a lot of people make mistake in this. So uh, you should always say width into depth. Always mention width 
first and then uh, the depth. Similar uh, is the case with machine room width and depth, always mention weight and depth. So whenever you mention the uh, machine room size, uh, you can always mention width into depth into height because three things are involved here. So, um, Normally, uh, in, a, in, a, in a machine room, uh, sizes can be bigger or equal uh, than the lift wheel sizes, depending on the type of design you have. So, uh, please measure that, uh, you know, very carefully. And uh, the orientation of machine room uh, is also very important. Uh, uh, the width of the lift shaft and width of the machine room should be measured in the same um, orientation sometime you know you have a door uh, in the machine room on the opposite direction so you get confused to measure width and depth of the machine room so uh, machine room width and lift width should always be in the same orientation there should not be any confusion what is lift shaft height let's see that so uh, lift shaft height is uh, you know is a distance between the from the pit floor to the top of the machine room floor slab uh, underside of the machine room floor slab uh, you can see here uh, in case it is a mrl uh, then you can you know uh, really measure from the uh, roof of the uh, lift well um, practically uh, as you have understood uh, rightly that uh, you know uh, uh, lift shaft height is basically equal to uh, pit depth plus travel uh, travel height plus overhead. So if you add all these three, uh, you will have a you know a lift uh, shaft height. This is a very important dimension, uh, so it must be measured very accurately. If you measure pit and travel and overhead accurately, you will have an accurate uh, lift shaft height. So the last point we are going to discuss today is lift machine room height. So uh, you have seen that this is uh, lift uh, machine room height here. So uh, let's uh, you know go to the uh, last point. Uh, what is uh, lift machine room height? Uh, this is the vertical distance uh, in the machine room as we have told you so please measure this very uh, accurately uh, if you need uh, a pdf file of this video uh, then you can download from the link available in the description below by paying a very small uh, nominal fee uh, hopefully uh, you have uh, liked this video uh, you can take up a skill test to test your knowledge by paying a very uh, small nominal fees. Uh, you can get a certificate also if you pass the skill test. Uh, we have, uh, you know, as uh, informed earlier also, we have a lot of other modules uh, in uh, elevator training. So uh, you can check them. If you want information about that, uh, there is a link available in the description below. Please check that. There are a few other modules. And uh, if you have any questions, please send WhatsApp at uh, number given below 87440641155. Our international code is plus 91. So, uh, Thank you for your time. Uh, hopefully uh, you have liked the video. Please do not forget to uh, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Bye-bye. Take care.